Good morning, Lions. Happy Wednesday to you. You've made it halfway through the week. A very cold week at that. Let's talk about um, who is out of the building today. Miss Kristen is out. There are no subs for her. Mrs. Weimer is out and we were unable to find a sub for Miss Weimer. So if you normally see Miss Weimer today, she will not be in the building. Um, we don't have anybody to cover for her. And also we got a message this morning that Miss Lisa is out again. So I have let Mr. Brad know and we'll just see how we can cover within, but just know that there's not a custodian in the building um, for the morning assigned to us, but we'll do our best, let the office know if there's anything you need and we'll try to get you taken care of as soon as possible. Um, but again, Miss Kristen is gone, so um, you'll have to let Miss Sierra or I know. Okay. Today's lunch in the cafeteria is hot dogs, and they did a switch for breakfast. So you probably noticed that today was ultimate breakfast rounds, and we were supposed to have breakfast ham omelets. So they just switched the days around, and tomorrow we'll have the breakfast ham omelet. All right, like I said earlier, it's still cold outside. Currently, the temperature is 5 degrees, but with the wind factored in, it's negative 7 our high is only expected to get to 16, and at lunchtime, it should range between 10 and 13. So I'm not sure if we'll be going outside again today. We'll have to check the temperature. If it's the wind chill is above zero, we can go outside. If it is not, we will stay inside again. Okay, no birthdays again today, but we do have some other days. Um, I kind of feel like February is a day that if we celebrated every day that they had on the calendar, we would gain a lot of weight. But today is cream cheese brownie day. Sounds delicious, right? Um, it is flannel day, which I think it's a perfect day to wear some flannel because flannel is soft and cozy. And teddy bear day. So you could cuddle up with your teddy bear. It is umbrella day. They said umbrellas are one of the most useful inventions in the world, which I completely agree with you, especially if you live somewhere where it rains a lot. Um, so here we don't see that much rain, but when it does rain, umbrellas are very helpful. Okay, we have some formative loop to celebrate today. This first one goes out to Levi Massey, who has mastered his addition facts. Kyler Ward has mastered place values, ones and tens. And Carter Cherrier has completed introduc introductory number lines. So congratulations to all of you for that and it is Wednesday so it's time for some wise cracks um, we have quite a few of those today here's our first one um, why did they serve hay in the cafeteria because a kid said he could eat like a horse that one is from Mariana in fourth grade she gave me a couple here here's another one knock knock who's there Sherwood Sure would who? Sure would be nice if I passed this test. Okay, thank you, Mariana. And the last one from Mariana. What happened when the ghost cheated on his homework? The teacher saw right through him. Okay, thank you. All right, Andrew Wimberly in fourth grade also gave us a joke. Um, how is a fly like a baseball bat? They both hit flies. Oh, how's a fly swatter like a baseball bat? They both hit flies. Sorry, Andrew, I didn't mean to mess up your joke. Um, okay, and then we have some, and I'm not sure who these are from, but somebody gave me. Um, what kind of bug is found in a clock? Ticks. How do bugs mail? By flea mail. What do you get when you cross a rabbit with an insect? Bugs Bunny. What insect tells time? Clock roaches. Okay, thank you very much. Those are really funny, um, very buggy jokes. And then I have a couple Valentine's jokes I heard yesterday. Um, Ms. Weimer was sharing these with Noah yesterday. So um, here's the first one. What kind of flowers do you not give on Valentine's Day? Cauliflower. And what did the boy octopus say to the girl octopus? 
I want to hold your hand, 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 hand. So thank you very much to everyone for passing on those wisecracks for Wisecrack Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderfully wise Wednesday.